Okay, welcome back guys. Um, this time we're gonna cover one subject that has been around for quite a few days. And I see it a lot in the forums and the Discord, um, the chat rooms. So smart, um, smart receiver from Falcon. It's called Falcon Smart Receiver. The, in this case, I'm using a Falcon F48 differential controller. Um, my Arch is going to be running a smart receiver, um, three, three of them. So it's going to be an A, B, and C configuration. So this time, uh, this is what I did, um, a quick setup here on my, on my lab. So we set up a smart terminal A. So this line comes from the controller. This line goes to smart terminal B. The terminating resistors are off in, in both deep switches. So all of them are off, um, it's set up to A. Uh, then the B, so you got the Ethernet line that comes from, from A, and the one that goes to Smart Terminal C, so it's what it is set up to mode B. And terminating resistor are off. So then we move into Terminal C, uh, smart terminal C. This one is terminating resistor are on and on. So the mode is set up to C. Uh, one point that I need to clarify is I'm not so sure if the terminating resistor just is for the end of the string that covers the, the R net or the terminating resistor is per the channel but that may be a future video there. In this case, this is the configuration I'm gonna be using. Three leaping arches, each one with a, which is on, on power supply, um, power injection, a smart terminal board, and I'm just gonna be running this and use power through it. So then if we look here on the controller, the first thing that, that I did was, I just divide my port 13 in through the smart receiver. So smart receiver, 1316 a 1316 B 1316 C okay um, this is how though what how how do I open the screen to get it in there so to get it like this is my divide on a smart receiver well let's go look in this one so let's go get port 17 as a sample so you click here that's gonna be converting us to smart receiver as it says so you click it and you got a smart receiver A. Then if you click again in plus, it's just gonna open the smart receiver B. If you open, if you click on the smart receiver B, the plus sign, it's just gonna open up the third smart receiver option, which is C, So um, As you see, you cannot add another one, so do not open up the plus sign. Just you got the negative just to delete the smart receiver, and then you come back to B, come back to B, to A, and come back to A. So simple, yeah? So this is the settings here on the Falcon controller. Shanners are divided per the layout on X lights. So then I went to select to X lights um, to the layout, and I got arch number one, smart receiver A, uh, arch number two, smart receiver number B, um, arch number three on smart remote C, all of them in port 13, as you look in here. So then, uh, to show you guys that all of this works as it is, is port 13A, um, port 13B, port 13A, open up the sequencer I set up three different colors for the three channels so if we look here in through the in through the pixel strips so we could see that a smart receiver 3 is green a smart receiver B is red and a smart receiver A is blue so this is looking back again in X lights so that is what we have here once Number one is blue, number two red, and number three is green. 
um, one important thing that we need to keep in mind is that the use of smart receivers divide the port output data on three. So in this case, if you're gonna be using three smart receiver channels, you will be dividing that number on three. So the maximum usable data per smart terminal board will be 341 channels. Okay. One way to see the smart receiver is this way. You select the port, in my case, it's port 13. That port, the maximum of channels is gonna be 1024, okay? So each receiver is linked to port 13. So you're gonna be dividing that 1024 channels between the three receivers, A, B, and C. That give you 341 channels per receiver. So then each port, each, each smart receiver have four ports. So then those 341 channels are gonna be shared between those four ports. This was a short video about, you know, how I connect my differential receiver on x -Lite's version 2020.39 and Falcon F48 controller running version 2.55. I hope this helped you out to get your configuration done properly and at the same time quite informative. Um, in the meantime, guys, I'll see you in the next one.